This is the Piazza Navona. Today, it's a beautiful city square in Rome, surrounded by restaurants and terraces that create a lively atmosphere. The Piazza Navona is known for its three fountains, commissioned by Pope Gregory VIII during the mid 17th century. This one is known as the Fountain of the Four Rivers, designed by Bernini in 1651. The four statues symbolize the most important rivers of the continents where Christianity had spread to that point in history. The Nile in Africa, the Danube in Europe, the Ganges in India, and the Rio de la Plata in South America. In the middle is a 52-foot obelisk that was originally part of a stadium along the Appian Way. Until the mid-19th century, the drains of the three fountains were blocked during August, and the center of the square was flooded to make the Lake of the Piazza Navona. This was a favorite tradition for Roman locals during the hot summers. However, back in the late first century, the Piazza Navona was the site of the Stadium of Domitian, place for 20,000 Roman spectators to watch a variety of games and gladiatorial contests. Around the sides were arcades that housed brothels and other establishments of general and assorted debauchery. Roman Emperor Domitian was known as one of the greatest persecutors of Christianity in history. For the next two centuries, his namesake stadium would be used more and more for public executions of Christians. Then in the early fourth century came the Roman Emperor Diocletian. Between 303 and 312, Diocletian ushered in the largest and bloodiest official persecution of Christianity in the history of the Roman Empire. During the reign of Diocletian, Agnes was a beautiful young girl of Roman nobility. When she became a Christian and would not give in to the sexual pressures of the city's high-ranking men, she was turned over to the authorities. She was martyred for her faith here in the Stadium of Domitian in 304 AD. She was only 13 years old. Agnes was later venerated as a saint in a number of church traditions for her resolute devotion to her purity as a follower of Jesus. The church here at the Piazza Navona was built in the 17th century to honor the memory of St. Agnes. Then, just as the greatest systematic persecution of Christians began, it was over and Diocletian was out. Things in the Roman Empire were about to change. Over 2,000 years ago, the man known as Jesus of Nazareth was born in the small town of Bethlehem in the land of Judea. His extraordinary life, brutal execution, and miraculous resurrection from the dead attest to the truth of his claim to be the only Son of God. This is the story of how Jesus, through the lives of his faithful followers, has become known around the world, impacting all of human history from the first century until today. This is Drive Through History, Ends of the Earth.